What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this, another edition of Cub Reacts on a Tuesday morning. Very excited to be jumping into this one as we check out a uh, very exciting performance. Sarkodie over in the UK performing uh, Labadi alongside the BBC Philanthropic Orchestra. Again, very excited to get into this one. Something a little bit different, obviously, uh, seeing Sarkodie alongside a live orchestra. This should be really cool to see. Um, and as always, friends, if you are new to the channel, do make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page of course turning notifications on as well leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff we are trying to get as many subscribers as we can before the end of the year can we hit 65k before the end of the year that would be a huge achievement and i could not thank you all enough and we could definitely do it with your help so please do get involved right without further ado then let's jump into the sounds of this one i'm excited to see uh what comes of it let's go now if you guys take a trip to africa make sure you check out ghana make sure you come to ghana there's a beautiful place called labadi so this next song is called Labadi, so enjoy. Oh. Woo! What else? There is something about live strings which will always give me chills, by the way. There is something just about hearing that kind of live replication, not a studio replication, just hearing a live recording of a, of a harmonic... Um, kind of uh, string section it is always going to be bone chilling to me i don't know why but it just hits you differently um i need to go and see more kind of orchestral concerts concerts to be honest with you um i'd like to go and see like film soundtracks being done in in live that's something i really want to do more of <laughs> Five star life. Just keys moving like dolphins. Those Keep horn lines. Like Mate, the horn lines on this make it sound like something out of Miami Vice or something nuts like that is great. I love hearing these live recreations of tracks like this. Obviously, this was a big track um, off the new off the uh, new Sarkodie project. This was one of the tracks that got released well, well before. Um, and it's I always find it interesting hearing these tracks reimagined with uh, an orchestral backing. I just I don't know why I always find it really enjoyable to kind of listen through because this isn't a kind of typical recreation just with a live band. This is an orchestra playing this, and they're giving it an entirely different sense. Of, uh, of of majesty, it's crazy. Sorry. You can't tell me this isn't really pleasing to watch and listen to. Also, seeing how much uh, Sarkodie's vibing with this version of it as well. I can't lie, being in that position as a performer when you've got that many different things going on behind you um, and they're essentially keeping rhythm with what you're doing and you're trying to keep rhythm with, with what they are doing, that is one of the most daunting things you can do as a musician, is literally perform live in front of an orchestra which is also performing live. So take nothing away from this. The fact that he is so skippy, so confident sounding, so clean, that is the mark of a genuinely exciting exceptional performer don't take anything like uh, don't take any of that for granted because that is the, the, the confidence he's showing is crazy I know we just met my mentor was saying please let me take you out if it's all right I need a lady by my side and I can't look any further because she's my type you know I saw you coming and I can see that I don't really know this girl but she's a bad and now you're looking at some brass, I'm sorry, I apologize because I can't help it. I gotta crash on you. I'm kind of selfish. You think it's Jeez. bad, don't you? Again, the way that he's performing, that's, I, I, I always say this whenever I listen to or, or react to Sarkozy tunes, but his ability to provide a skippy texture is... Um, one of the best in the world right now. Every single line he says is just kind of engulfed in this kind of rolling, kind of morphing. But it's not just Skippy for the sense of Skippy. It is Skippy because that's the way he raps and the way he writes and the way that he entangles lyricism. Even on a topic like, for instance, a, 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 like a kind of love song like this, you're still hearing that intricacy being folded through and it's not just there for the sake of it. It's not corny. It literally amplifies every single element. It's crazy. I'm melting because I can die for you. You know I felt it that I'll be the one for you. Would you want to walk with me? A couple things that we can talk about. <laughs> Baby, please talk to me. I told me what you need and I can sort it out. You know I got you. Yeah. Cause I'm the craze for your body. And then I just... 
I love hearing those strings. Those strings, that sort of in the background. I don't know why. I'm just getting images of like Miami Vice, um, or, or like a kind of like a 70s or 80s like cop show. I don't know why. That's the image that conjures up in my hair whenever I hear that type of string sound and those sort of horns as well. Um, and it's really cool just hearing this track, which is naturally very kind of it, it sonically. It's a beautifully arranged tune, but hearing it in this kind of reimagined live environment, it gives it an entirely different meaning. Um, and I love that. I love that as an experience as a listener. And also, just the visual thing of the sticks going up and down. I love it. <laughs> Sick, man. Again, just this little breakdown here. We're now getting essentially a live drum solo, which at the best of times are difficult to make sound kind of rhythmic realistically drum solos always sound a little bit all over the place but even this because you've got that kind of bounciness going on behind you've still got the kind of um sense of the vocals going on as well it just breathes originality man and this is this is the sort of thing i'd love to see more of i love seeing tracks reimagined in essentially a different musical culture i love seeing it because it just gives you an entirely different spectrum the best example i think i've ever seen of this being done kind of live is um there's a Doja Cat performance um, of, uh, of I can't remember the name, I can't remember which track it was. Um, it was Say So. No, no, Say So. Doja Cat did a version of Say So for the EMAs, I think it was. And it's literally just, it's like a, like a, pop punk version and it's nuts i don't i don't like pop punk it's never been something i've listened to but i love the fact it was recreated that way you know it's crazy When you think about just how many people are involved in making this performance work, I always wondered how orchestras make money because <laughs> because you've got to take like 60 people plus the engineers plus pay for all the, the, the actual additional costs of traveling with the instruments. How on earth does an orchestra make money? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. And it's probably why there aren't that many orchestras around. This is obviously BBC funded because it is, it's the BBC uh, Philanthropic Orchestra. But like, how, how do you start an orchestra, man? Like, that's crazy. That's nuts. Fire. Very, very thank fire so indeed. Sarko D, the man of the moment. What a what a version that is. I really enjoyed that. Again, I've always been someone that really does enjoy the kind of live recreation of... Um, again, just the live recreation of music, the idea that you can turn something into something completely different with different, different instrumentation, different kind of um, arrangements, different musical upbringing to an extent as well. And I think this is a great example of how you can do that in a live setting. Really, really cool, man. Sarkodi performing uh, La Buddy. I think I'm pretty sure it's, is it Omar Lay on the original version? I can't remember. I think it's Omar Lay. Um, so it's cool to kind of hear that vocal in the background regardless. And yeah, really, really nice version, man. Guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section down below. And as always, if you are new to the channel, do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page of course turning notifications on as well leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff and we shall see you all next time peace breakfast with my life cold. Yo, this is Aaron Glitch and you're tuning to the sounds of Kovu right now. You already know the thing. Bad boy selector. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.